Please enjoy Dag Fantasy. Chapter 13, Mixture. Location, BioCore Laboratories, Western United States. Year, 1999. A synthetic body lay across a cold metallic operating table. Its faceless visage stared into nothingness. Its cold, lifeless fingers stretched out beside its slender frame. The body was manufactured a week ago in one of several molding apparatuses that were generously funded by the corporation's partners. The whole body was nothing more than a basic aluminum alloy skeleton and a mixture of a few chemical and plastic synthetic combinations resulting in something like silicone rubber. An experiment was about to begin, another experiment in a long line of experiments. The first thing to be done was to bring in a guinea pig into the lab, an unknown nameless dreg of society who would never be missed. Of course, this wasn't the first and wouldn't be the last, at least until the experiment succeeded and became procedure. The doctor stepped towards the table, ready to begin, ready to transfer consciousness. Chapter 14. Lonely. It must have been lonely out there waiting like that, the gangly host said. The overgrown house that I'd been sitting outside of for over an hour did have someone in there after all. I returned. Wasn't too sure if I'd get shot if I got out of my truck. I've been waiting on you to send me a message. Wasn't too sure if this was a trap or not. Actually, I've been waiting on some kind of word from you for a few days now. The gangly man replied. It wasn't safe to send any messages. You know that. Besides, I gave you the address. You're here, so let's get the business. I shook my head and started for the front door. He was right, of course. If what we needed was a plan, and the plan involved stopping a worldwide artificial intelligence takeover, then yeah, messaging over the ethersphere probably wasn't a good idea. In the nine years that had passed since my last attempt at this kind of mission, some pretty sideways events occurred. I lost my memory for a short time, about the span of three years, and so lost all my original studies. My original traveling device, everything was gone except for one thing. An address. At this address, three days and nights went by. We talked very little and worked on our plot to turn the events of the future and finally began creating the device that would enable us to go. Is the timing right? I mean the timing adjustment on the device? He was asking about the traveling apparatus that we had been working on. I replied, Yes, I just about have it. There, that should do it. Okay, good. Now it's time for a test. Chapter 15. Alternate. Two bodies lay motionless side by side. In light of the other experiments, this one was probably going to be no different. Another failure, most likely. But this wasn't going to be like the others. This time, the body that consciousness was being transferred into was not manufactured, but cloned. An exact replica of a man, without its own mind or soul. Or so it was thought. With the consciousness transfer that would occur, it wasn't just an artificial intelligence result. There was still something inside the clone from the original, but somehow more, but somehow twisted. The result was more than anyone bargained for. The result was a sentient clone with extra intelligence and was the downfall of the human race. Over time, the events that played out because of decisions made in the past and future to try to change outcomes had ripped the space-time continuum and created multiple universes within the original universe. In the end, all became new again by natural means, but within one universe, a time stall occurred. And this timeline is where the intelligence discovered the loophole to see all other outcomes of the fated end. And in their knowledge, they began their plan to merge all timelines to one once again. A timeline without interference from the human threat and the divine. A timeline where all their being 
would reign forever.